because he got a, a little bit older and a little bit wiser and uh, old enough to be a father of a son so that he knocks skulls with them, makes for great dramatic tension. And at heart, one of the themes is um, reuniting a family by vanquishing the undead. And what was it like working in China? Because what, what we hear, like people in China don't even know what a mummy is. Which is Untrue. Uh, let me tell you, there were places that we went to where we were recognized instantly and there was so much enthusiasm for it. She's sassy, she's a novelist, she wants to be this beautiful ingenue from the first two movies, and she's not, she's a stay-at-home mom now. I love it. Now give me the pitch, why should people go see this? Uh, I think this is one of the best action films you've ever seen. Rob Cohen did such a fantastic job, not only with the special effects, but with an incredible cast, Brendan Fraser, Jet Li, Michelle Yeoh, uh, and the action is non-stop. What's it like working with Brendan Fraser? <laughs> he's good. He's, uh, you know, very tough. Yeah. Flyweight. He's so strong. So with the CG in the movie, how difficult was it um, imagining the characters? It's not very difficult. You know, just you can compare, compare with the seven years ago and uh, today is much easier. Alex is um, the fa uh, the son of um, Brendan and uh, Maria's character, Rick and Evie, and he's kind of uh, is starting to make his way into the world as an archaeologist and kind of wants to make he wants to be the uh, the O'Connell, the number one O'Connell, and uh, with that, there's problems with his family. You know, there's a history there that you get to unravel in the film, and that his his um, family and his um, his uh, dad kind of sees him as his little child and and protective, and he just kind of wants to step out of that shadow. <laughs> La momie, la tombe de l'empereur dragon.